You ever heard of the term or the term, don't hate the player, hate the game? I'm from New York. And uh, in the early 80s, you know, going down to New York City, uh, and even to this day, uh, you can go down to uh, Times Square. Uh, at least I think they still have it down there in Times Square. Uh, they have all types of uh, people that are selling things. Uh, they have uh, card tricksters, people people uh, uh, playing dice, playing games, things like that. And uh, one of the biggest hustles that they got is uh, these guys that 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 shuffle cards, right? And they say, you know, you know, they, it's it's all a scam. It's all a it's all a scam to, to to get people out of their money, right? And everybody from New York knows that these people are scamming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people, uh, they have one person in the crowd that will uh, present themselves as though they're losing the hand, okay? Uh, and then when uh, the trick comes up, uh, they switch it up. And what happens after that is they get took for their money. And they thinking that they that, that they thinking that just because somebody else on the side is winning that they win it right, and so you know you got a person that doesn't know out of town, uh, and they get took for their money right, and I say this to say I give this perfect example to say is that you know uh, you know don't, don't hate the play hate the game. There's people that uh, is just gonna get took in life. And that's just the sad reality of it. You don't want it to happen to people, but at the end of the day, it's going to happen to people. And the reason why it happens to people is that because they're slow, right? Um, uh, you know, uh, you, or what, what does it say? A fool and his money shall soon depart. So, you know, I necessarily don't have uh, feelings, per se, for people who put themselves in situations as where um, uh, uh, you can get took. Because you should be intelligent enough, and the sad thing about it is a lot of people are just not intelligent enough in this day and age, but you should be intelligent enough to do your own due diligence and independent research on anything, whether you're joining an organization, uh, whether you're getting a job, it's amazing. We can go, right? And we can go and apply for a job. And that job has a job description in it, and it clearly lists your responsibilities in that job description. And so you know the parameters. Why would you join an organization, a church, um, uh, a, a homestead, a community, uh, a business, anything, and you don't know the terms and conditions? This is just like uh, somebody saying, you know what, hey, you know, I want you to do a job, right? And um, I want you to do this job, and they're not going to tell me what they're going to pay me. I'm going to show up and I'm going to perform and then turn around and be like, well, what are you going to pay me? And then they pay you something else. And then you're like, well, I thought I was going to get paid this. So I, I felt I should have got paid this. No, you should have confirmed that before you went down and work. Right. So, you know, this is why, you know, it's very difficult to uh, uh, have sympathy for people who willingly go into or blindly go into situations would not without really clearly understanding what it is they're getting involved in never join anything or be a part of anything in which you don't clearly know what you're getting involved in uh and this is where this religious spirit come into play these people get hyped up in this religious uh thought process and they think that they're doing something right and they're not doing their own due diligence and independent research and uh, uh because uh men present themselves in such a way um, uh, you know, look at, look at, again, I'm going to use the example over and over. Look again, Rufus. This is the elect of Israel. Scamming people, using people, abusing people. And for years was called the elect of Yah's people. You see, you see how that works? You see how that works? A suck is just going to get took. And people of any length of, of discernment uh, knows a huckster when they see one. But a lot of people, they get wrapped up into this religious thing, and then they join, they get took, and now they want to bitch, moan, and complain. Don't work like that. Hey, if you got took, you got took. And it's nobody's fault but your own.